No DIY today, but I want to show you something I've been thinking about for a while, but as always, Tilta made it faster. Stop that. Everyone knows that with a mad box, every camera, even the smallest one, looks much better, more professional and generally makes an impression on the client and other people. But as you probably know, the mad box was made because of a few other reasons. The first most important function is sunshade. You may need it in a strong light source situation and it is not only about the sun. Light coming into the lens sometimes creates flare or milky footage which you might not really want. The next function is a filter holder. Most professional matte boxes are designed to support 4x4 or 4x6 square filters. They have a special frame where you just insert the filter that you actually need. An extra function can also be a clean filter as protection from dust, dirt and water. I have to mention that usually in professional med boxes there was no option to use variable ND. So if you wanted to change the value, you had to physically change the filter. However, about a year ago, a brilliant Madbox Polar Pro base camp was released, which was the first affordable med box with variable ND. So all these things also comes with a brand new mad box from Tilta, but what makes it so special that I wanted to make a video about it? There are a few features at least, but let's start with the biggest one. I'm talking of course about electronic wireless control of variable and the filter, which is great thing in a certain situation. Of course, it is not something you absolutely must have, but in a moment we will take a look in which situation you may need it and why in almost every way it is probably the best choice on the market right now, but let's start from the beginning. The new Madbox is extremely lightweight, modular and functional. In fact, it is much smaller, which makes it more portable so you can take it anywhere. It is perfect for gimbal users and anyone who cares about small size and portability. Just like in many other models, you will find a top lens hood and filter holder, but in this case much different. I will say the new standard. Tilta in cooperation with Vaxis designed a completely new filters for this model. The new 95mm circular filters are much smaller and 4 times lighter than traditional large filters. And because of this, they are also much cheaper. What's more, the new filters are much easier and faster to insert because the new filter holder has replaced the traditional screw-on filter system so they can be quick installed with a single press. The system supports a wide range of special filters such as star patterns, multicolored streaks, anamorphic flares, black and white promised and other lens effect they can fully support all aspects of your creative vision for modern video production. So far I still need to test all of them in detail, but my first impressions, they are really high quality filters. If you are wondering why Tilta decided to make their own totally new filter system, I think it is dedicated by the evolution and new requirements of the industry. In the age of gimbals and one-man band filmmakers, lightweight and small size has become very important. The round filter is much smaller and at the same time much lighter. Standard large and heavy professional filters are usually rectangular and basically about 40% of this glass is completely useless. However, if you have a collection of your standard favorite cinema filters, no problem at all because Tilta has made a front clamp and a special adapter if you want to use more than one of these. Talking about filters, let's jump to the most important thing for me, which is variable ND. Weighs only 100 grams, it is already built in its own special frame which has a knob on the right side to adjust the intensity. The range of ND values you can choose between 0.3 and 2.7 which is a 9 stops. Now, when it comes to overall performance of these filters, I still don't have a chance to test it in all the different types of environments, but so far they are really fantastic. I am very impressed with the quality and overall color reproduction. The really big improvement is that the ND has a hard stop, so you cannot move it beyond the range where the filter lines will cross each other. This reduces the risk of the X pattern cross shadow effect. I say reduce because if you are using a very wide lens, you'll notice that the filter lines will start to show up on the sides of the frame, but they will never cross in the middle like in many other ND filters. There are two options when it comes to attaching the matte box to the camera. The first one is directly to the 95mm lens, 
but if you have a smaller lens size, in the kit you get an adapter which you first have to put on the lens and then you just attach the matte box and lock it. You can use any lens with a size between 67 and 95 mm to the adapter, but to be honest, thanks to different types of adapters, you can attach almost every lens, even small ones, without any problem. The second mounting option is of course the traditional holder designed for 15 mm road. This is a great for fisheye and other special lens with no front thread. The next big thing, which is absolutely fantastic, if you care about extreme lightweight for use with a gimbal for example, you can very quickly completely remove not only the sand hood, but also the front part of the matte box. Very similar modular design has the Polar Pro, but here you have even more options and for maximum weight reduction you can remove even the filter holder and with a special adapter you can put just the variable ND on the lens. In terms of the modular design, it is worth to mention that the matte box is also designed with aerodynamics idea in mind. So in situations such as a fast car or aerial shots, the wind resistance is reduced so there is a less work for the gimbal motor. Now let's jump to the most important feature for me wireless ND filter control. The idea is basically very simple. We have a variable ND filter cage and all we have to do is connect a brand new micro motor to it. The new Tilta micro motor is extremely small, super lightweight and very easy to mount with just two screws. You can power it with a battery adapter or USB-C, which will be perfect if you want to reduce weight as much as possible. To control the motor, you get a special dedicated brand new controller, but what is really awesome, you can also control it with all the control handle from Tilta, such as Nucleus, Tilta ring grip handle and wireless model from Tilta Float. Also for all of you who have a Nucleus Nano, I have great news, because Tilta designed a special adapter for Nucleus motor, in fact it is much bigger than the micro motor, but if you do not care about weight reduction and you already have a Nucleus, you can get a wireless variable and the option for 29 bucks. Another great thing is the new micro motor and controller works up to 100 meters and in the future with an extra special adapter you will be able to extend the range up to 2 kilometers which is crazy deal for professional drones and aerial photography. Motor calibration is super easy like with all wireless device. You just hold down the button and that's it, ready to shoot. Guys, back to the question of who needed when and why. Definitely all situations where you don't have physical and quick access to the camera. For example, car mount, bike mount, cable cam, drones. This feature really saves you a lot of time because you don't have to break the shots to get to the camera and change the ND value anymore. Second is the situation when the lighting conditions change in the middle of the shots you want to take. A perfect example would be the scene of someone leaving the house. In fact, almost always will be much darker inside a house, apartment or any building than outside, especially on a sunny day. So it is extremely difficult to get a good exposure. If you are shooting with a photo lens and you don't have a smooth iris ring, you have to find a compromise. Because if you set the exposure to the inside of the house, then the outside will be overexposed and the same way if you set the exposure to outside, the inside will be underexposed. A great solution will be a lens with a smooth iris ring, which gives you the possibility to change the aperture value in a smooth way. And basically the problem is almost solved, but as you probably know, the change of aperture value is in relation with depth of field, which of course not always, but in some scenes is absolutely necessary. So this is actually one of the scenes where the electronic variable and the filter with the wireless feature will be a perfect solution. Another cool thing is the new creative applications. For example, if you have two motors, you can get a cool effect of variable focus range. I mounted one motor from the Nucleus Nano to the iris ring, the second micro motor of course to the variable ND, but in such a way that they move in opposite directions. So if the iris is closing, then ND is opening. I select the same wireless channel on both motors, 
calibrate them and with one controller I can move them at the same time. Thanks to this I get the effect of moving depth of field which can be used in many creative ways. And at this point of course I had to try a cheaper version of such a solution and in general if you do not need a mad box or do not have money for it and you have circular variable ND, you can try to do a similar wireless control of ND filters. You need only a follow focus strap and wireless focus motor and in fact it works quite good and with a few exceptions gives me a similar effect and possibilities but here you have everything complete and fully compatible. The fact is that I personally will definitely use the variable ND more often as a manual filter, however I am very excited to have the option to use electronic and wireless control because for sure I will find many situations where it will be very helpful. And of course the price. You can get this in a different configuration from the basic kit for $120 all the way up to the most advanced for $600 and honestly there is no competition in this price point here. So there is my conclusion. For the last year I have been using the Polar Pro Basecam Madbox almost always and I absolutely love it. However it was a bit too large and in a few cases I had a X pattern issue. Besides, now I am switching to the new picture zoom lenses, so when I use gimbal I care about very lightweight and small size of Madbox because lenses itself are quite big. And to be honest, I really have a feeling that the new Tilta Madbox is actually the response to the needs of modern filmmakers who care more and more about weight, size and functionality. Besides, as you know, I just love versatile equipment, so yes, 100% I will switch to this new and excellent in every way Madbox. So guys, that's all I have for you today, I hope it was helpful, as always thanks for all this wonderful feedback and messages under the last episode and see you in the next one.